Hey, my love, your game. It's Mr. XR. So, okay, we back. I had to, I had to go find out what was going on because it was some kind of noise, or something that was going on. I had to make sure I um got that straightened out before we can get started. Okay, so come on back in the room. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna actually do this episode. Come on back in the room. Come on back in the room, you guys. I'm so sorry about that false start. Come on back in, and we will get the show started right about now. Okay, come on in. Come on in. Come on back in. We're gonna get the show started. Okay. I want everybody to come on back in. Okay. How you guys doing? Everybody doing all right? Everybody doing all right? Okay. So let's go ahead and get to, um, this show started. Um, I will not be before you too long. Um, this episode um, is just something I want to talk about, about what's going on. Okay. So as we know, um, Trump is gone. Thank God for that. And now we have a new administration. And my major focus that I want to focus on for this episode and what I want to focus on for this administration is the plan for action for the first 100 days that was um, promised by the Biden administration for LGBTQI plus rights. And those rights are rights that um, are duly needed for LGBTQ plus people. But it's also noted because of the fact that Trump, during his administration, did so many things to undo all the work that LGBTQIA plus people did when it comes from trying to put a ban on trans military, when it comes to trying to um, block trans women from coming to shelters and things of that nature, when it comes to trying to destroy um, trans health care, when it comes to um, just trying to um, hurt um, trans youth and trans kids within school through his Secretary of Education of Betsy DeVos. The Trump administration purposely put a tack on LGBTQIA plus people and trans people were at the front of that awful, hateful, malice, um, intention and actions that were carried about, carried out by the Trump administration. Mm -hmm. Trans people can be in the military. Yay. Yes, 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 they, yes, trans people can be in the military. But the thing about it was Trump's administration was trying to ban that. And now that it is a new day and we have a new administration, now we can um, we can uh, we can get to a point to where people can stop saying just because somebody is a trans man, just because somebody is a trans woman, they cannot serve in this country. No, it doesn't matter if someone is trans or not. If someone is willing to lay down their life and fight for this country, how can you tell them that they cannot fight for this country and they cannot protect this country because they are a trans man or because they are a trans woman? That you cannot do that, okay? And those were just a couple of the stupid, idiotic um, orders that Trump tried to carry out during his four years of hell under his four years of presidency, which, let's be honest, he's, he was the worst president ever in the history of the United States. He's the only president ever to be impeached twice. So now that we have this new day, we as trans people, people have to make sure that these rights and all these actions are carried out in order to make sure that LGBT plus rights are maintained, Okay. What I want to see, I want to see things, a actions put in place to protect, to protect our trans kids. Action put in place to protect our LGBT, LGBT plus youth. Um, programs put in school that implement um, programs to protect um, L um, kids from bullying. We, we lost so many LGBT plus youth and trans kids because of um, cyberbullying and because... Um, they committed suicide because they could not be themselves. And we need more space for queer and gay and trans kids to let them know that they're valid, to let them know that they exist, to let them know that their life matters. And it doesn't matter what anybody's religious beliefs is. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what anybody's ideologies are. It matters the fact that they are human beings and they deserve the right to live their life. They, they deserve the right to exist. They deserve their right to an education. And they simply observe the right to simply exist in a space of their own. Okay? 
Also, what I want to see under this administration, I want to see, um, I want to see more programs um, to help um, gay and lesbian couples be able to adopt. There are so many, um, dis- so many programs right now that discriminate against lesbian women adopting, or discriminate against um, gay men or gay black men adopting. Why are we trying to discriminate against a couple who want to adopt a child and give a child a better life just because you don't agree with their sexuality, just because you don't agree with who they are? So you mean to tell me that you're willing to let let um, a kid go into orphanage? You're willing to let a child grow up without a family just because you do not want to allow a, um, a lesbian couple or a gay couple who could give a child a wonderful life, a life? That makes no sense. I thought the idea of the child care system and ch- ch- excuse me, the child care system was to make was to do what was in the best interest of the child. What the what is in the best interest of the child is to make sure that child is loved, is um is respected, and is in a home with a family that will that will raise them and love them as their own. And there are so many lesbian and gay couples who will love these children as their own. Not only that, they're able they're financially able to take care of the kids. But yet, because they're lesbian, because they're gay, you don't want them to adopt. No, these are these are the things that we have to help to try to end during the first um, 100 days of LGBT plus legislation under the new Biden Harris administration. Also, what I want to see, and this is the main thing that I want to see. What I came on here tonight to tell you guys, what I really want to see is I want to see a task force built to combat the 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 deaths of. Um, of all the black trans women we see happening, all the black trans lives, all the black gender non-conforming people. There are too many of my sisters that are dying. There are too many black transgender women, gender non-conforming women that are dying, and it is an epidemic. It is is a threat, and there needs to be some kind of task force in these cities, in these police departments, to combat this. A lot of times, black trans women and gender non-conforming people don't go to police because a lot of times, they do not feel safe. Because the first thing that um a lot of cops want to say is, oh, what are you doing working to be? Oh, what are you doing? Uh, do you have work or something? It is not about that. What is it about? It is about the fact that if a trans woman is in a is, is in a situation where her life is in danger, as a police officer, you took an oath to um protect and serve. That's the oath that you took. So that's the thing about it. We have to understand is that these these ooh we, we have to make sure that um the that these police officers are not only going through um racial sensitivity training, but they need to go through um LGBT group plus um sensitivity training, and especially when it comes to black trans women and trans lives sensitivity because there are so there's just like there are so many cops that we talk about all the time that are racist and things of that nature there are so many cops that are homophobic and they're locking them right up gay and they really don't have to there's so many these cops out here that are transphobic and will lock a trans girl up without no business won't even ask what went on but just will lock them up just because they assume because that person is trans that that person is doing something wrong and that is something that has to stop under this new administration. Okay? So my major goal is that I want so many things different for my LGBTQI plus people. Okay? And also, as I said yesterday, I talked about Rachel Levine, um, who's the new assistant of health health here. We need more um we need we need to make health care more affordable. For trans um, people, for trans women, for trans, it needs to be more affordable because it is already hard enough um, on trans people just being able to get appointments, being able to get them. It there with 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 the way our country is, there is no way nobody should have should not be able to get their hormones or their medication just because they don't have enough money. There should be programs to implement to make free. Um, Free medications for people on transition and stuff. It should be things that it should be more free to us and, and, and accessible. And those are the things that need to be made more better. These are the things that I want made better for my, for um, the first 100 days when it comes to LGBTQI plus um, people. 
Um, and I'm hoping that it happens under this administration. Okay. All right. I just had to get that off my chest. Um, if nobody has any comments, we're going to end the show early because I know everybody's side because of inauguration. Um, if nobody has any comments, we're going to go ahead and end the show. Okay, hold on. Dang yeah. I'm hoping to see more laws, laws against hate come crimes, especially with the new people that have been elected in the Congress. No matter against LGBT plus and people of color, etc. The hate crime against minority needs to stop. Exactly. There are too many hate crimes um, that happen. Like Just like I say, for example, there were at least 43 um, trans and gender non-conforming people that were dead. And I understand when I say 43, 43 trans and gender non-conforming people, those were just the murders that were known. There are so many murders in 2020 that went unknown. Those are just the ones that are known. And when it comes to hate crimes against LGBTQIA plus people, it was at least known 350. Now, again, that number is not the not the exact number. That is a known number. And though both of those numbers are too, too, too completely high for my LGBT plus people. Those, those are two high numbers. And those numbers have to come down. And that is the reason why it is time out with it being 2021 for um, the community not having the rights that they so desperately need. We need these rights. We need, we need rights that protect trans people. We need rights, rights that protect all um, LG, LGBT plus people. We need to come to some um, acts to where these, these, all, 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 all these, there, there are too many laws on the book to not have um, more protection for our community and for our people, okay? Hey, love, how you doing? We about to end the show. We just did a quick show on um, what I'm asking for um, LG, LGBT plus people. Um, and just these are just the things. I just want to come on here event. This is going to be like no real, real long show. Um, just came on here because I, I promised you guys I was going to always give you guys a show um, no matter what. We need to feel like we belong in this world. Of course. Of course. If you are a gay person or a trans person, bisexual, pansexual, gender non-conforming, non-binary, asexual, demisexual, baby, whatever you are. You are a human being. You are a person. And you need to be able to know that you can walk down the street and be safe. You need to be able to know that you can go to your job and be safe. You need to be able to know that um, if you go to the grocery store, you can be safe. And what happens is um, with trans and, and queer people under Trump's administration, it it, it, it it has become a scary, scary situation when it comes for people like us um you know, just going to the store or just going to work or doing whatever. And these are things that got changed. And that's the reason why I say there has got to be more protections and more laws passed to protect LGBT plus people. There have got to be more law passed. And that's the reason why I use my voice to fight to speak on this. Because I don't care how, how long I speak. If I got to speak every night, night after night after night after night, I will speak as long as I have to in order to get these laws pass in order to fight to do what we have to do to make it better for people like me and people like my loves and my babies and my queer and black gay black babies that are trans people babies that are watching right now. I love all, all of you guys and you are the reason why I speak and the reason why I fight to try to make these laws better for you, okay? Yes, baby. You know I you know I T B fighting like crazy for y'all. I love all my queer and gay babies all day, every day, 24 7, Monday through Sunday. Okay? Love all of y'all, okay? I love y'all so much. Any more questions, comments? Any more? All right. Um, I thank you guys so much for the love. As always, I said you give me. You guys give me so much love. You guys give me so much hope. You give me so much. Y'all give a black trans woman strength to go on. Y'all just don't know because when I think about y'all, no matter how, when I think about my loves and my babies that come on this live, when I think about y'all, you guys so much, you guys give me the strength to say, I got to do this. I got to go. I, I got to. I got to make sure um, that I'm repping and letting people know that black trans lives still matter. I got to let them know that I'm going to fight for my gay black boys. I got to let them know that I'm going to fight for my non-binary and gender conforming people of color. I got to let them know that I'm going to fight for my black women. And you, my loves, are what help push me on because of your likes, your shares, your comments. Everything that you do helps keep this show on the ground. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for it, okay?
Thank you, baby. Thank you. I'm doing a wonderful. Um, and thank you, baby. I will have a nice night too. I will have a safe night. You have a safe night too, baby. And I will see you guys. See you tomorrow. Okay. You are a great motivator. I appreciate and care for you. Thank you for being a hero. Oh, baby. Um, you know what? A lot of people sometimes tell me a role model hero. I don't even consider myself a role model hero. What I consider myself is just a, simply a black trans woman who does not want to see my see anything happen to my family members, and I stand up and protect them with my life if I got to. That's that's just me. And if that's what a hero is, then it can be that. But I I I I I I, I feel like sometimes I'm doing the bare minimum. I'm doing what I feel like everybody should do. Okay, that's the way I feel. Everyone remember that you are loved, you are valid, and you are worth it. You are. You, everybody in this room, remember, you are loved, you are valid, and you are worth everything that is owed to you, everything that's needed. You are special. You are beautiful. And do not let anybody take your joy. Do not let anybody steal that awesomeness, that wonderfulness, that that just just that 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 zeal of life that you have. Do not let anybody take it away from you, okay? All right, my loves. Um I hope you guys have a wonderful night. I absolutely love you guys. I have um one more video I'm going to do. This this one is going to be um another episode, but this one is going to be a pre-recorded episode. It's just something that I want to see and get out of my heart. Um I absolutely love you, my loves. If there are no more comments, we're going to go ahead and say good night. Um, I'll be back with another show tomorrow. I got a couple more. I got a couple of shows coming up. Coming up. Um, I think one show coming up Friday, if it goes through, I'm so, so excited about. But I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, yes, sweetie, baby. I love you. I love you so much. You, you, my loves, be safe. Um, auntie gonna get, auntie gonna go to a second job. I got to go over here to TikTok and do some things with my babes over there. And then I can, you know, Give me a little rest tonight because I've been moving since this morning trying to make this show and everything be better, okay? All right. I love you, my loves. Have an awesome, wonderful, and beautiful night. And thank you, my love. I thank you for um saying that. Yes, I, I thank you, my loves. Thank you for everything you do um to help keep me motivated, okay? I love you, my love, so much. I have a wonderful evening, okay? Bye.